It was uh, Earth Day on Monday, a day when sensitive people who like to hang wind chimes out in their yard and wind socks and they faithfully recycle. They square off on Earth Day against uh, rednecks who keep all-terrain vehicles in their yards and who uh, fly Confederate flags and who use their ATVs to dump trash out in the woods. And Back it up there, Cletus, come on, let her rip! <laughs> and of course, a person ought to side with the sensitive, gentle people, except that I hate wind chimes. I can't stand that constant dinging. And to me, the big loud noises like a lawnmower or, 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 or like bagpipes or, or, or like car alarms or, woo, 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 or, the, or the fast train into Waukegan are all less irritating than this gentle dinging and pinging and tinkling and the shimmering. And, and that's why I'm happy to announce the fear mongoo shops break the wind chime habit. Wind chimes can be very confusing to bats. Bats who eat mosquitoes. And so you wind up with more mosquitoes. Millions of them. And they never go away. Wind chimes can affect your hearing so that you are no longer able to sing on pitch. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time stand. Wind chimes may interfere with your dog's instinct to defend the home and make your dog welcome bad men into the house. Hey, where do you keep the jewelry, buddy boy, huh? <laughs> Wind chimes may cause your children to do worse in math. A D minus? How can that be? And worst of all, the frequencies of certain wind chimes can affect your metabolism and cause you to gain 20 to 30 pounds a week. Oh my gosh, I gained 45 pounds! If you own wind chimes, please limit yourself to just two hours a day. And if you turn in your wind chimes this week to the fearmonger shop, they will pay you $5 per set of wind chimes. Let's start the spring and the summer in a mood of cooperation and peace. And Don't touch those. Don't touch those.